game game hiker playing Mega Man 2. I am Steve, Aaron is here. Hello! And it is now time to take down Woodman after spending a year of our lives on Heatman stage. Yeah, things did get a little bit hairy with those disappearing blocks. They I did. feel like we just walked into like a Castlevania level. Kind of, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty sweet forest. Oh, Neve has a bat. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm still dying from un some unspecified illness. Yeah, but unfortunately, Steve here is still being infected by a virus named Tom, and it just hasn't uh, let him go yet. It's not released me. So this is item one. It makes a platform, and the platform goes up at a very slow pace, and okay. I can't attack while it happens. That is very tedious. Yeah. But sometimes it helps you climb some things, and that one would not have helped the event stage, which I guess is good, because that would be rather cruel of the game to give it to you after you prove you didn't need it. That, yeah, that does seem like to be a very poor design. So we're going in the underground now, and it's, uh, whoa, look at this guy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a wolf. He's yeah, it looks like he's a super rush. Maybe I mean, rush was based on him. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. Yeah, it, 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 this became a trope of the Mega Man series as well, the, the giant animal mini bosses. I can't really hit I mean, me as long as I stay He's down. a huge dog, though, but he's not like doing much. He just breathes fire, kind of a very undog-like behavior. Or yeah, wolf like it's, it's going in an arc, and, and who can predict how an arc is going to turn out in a video game? That's true. I mean, I mean, remember anything could happen. Like you know, you go sideways or upways, or arrows yeah. could die. You never know. Any, anything could happen. And remember just how completely unpredictable sine waves used to be. I predicted what what was? Sine waves. Sine waves. See, you lost me know. on that one. Um, like uh, Medusa heads in Castlevania. Would always oh. go in a perfect sine wave. And they yeah. always felt like they were just attacking you from random directions with no rhyme or reason. Because yeah, you I hated those. Many pieces. Okay, I am going to play it safe and bust out item one. Look at that. None got some monkey shell. business going on here. Stop me. Yeah, those monkeys. Those monkeys throw me off, too. Well, I mean, he's not even doing anything at that point. He just sort of standing there like, ah, I gotcha. Yeah, I, I think the Mega Man 3 monkeys were a lot more difficult to deal with. Yeah. Definitely seeing your Mega Man 3 love come through here. Mega, Mega Man 3 is the best. That's, that's all I can say. I haven't had a chance to point this out, but uh, I love whenever I look at the bottom of the screen and I guess see Dr. Wally there and he gets pointing <laughs> at the game itself and he just looks so smug. Yeah. He's like... Look at what you're suffering through right now. <laughs> that was all me. He even made his own robots this time. He even made his own forest. I bet these robots, or these trees, are just made out of metal. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Is why are everything in these games made of robotics? Well, I mean, like, we're in this forest right now, so, like, as we're walking into, like, his, uh, collab or his uh, collaboration with uh, Dr. Robotnik. Kind of, yeah. I can see it. So the, uh, the fire weapon throws fireballs, but, and I think I can one-shot Evan with it if I survive long enough. The awesome thing about this is this is actually the first chargeable weapon in a Mega Man game. Sorry, I'm going away. Um, so once again, the first chargeable weapon in a Mega Man game okay. was the, uh, the Heat Man weapon. Not the Mega Buster, as one might think. When did you start being able to charge up your Mega Buster, then? That was not until 4. Did you get to unlock something special, or just from the very beginning? Uh, that... that was the beginning. Yeah, okay. so, so if cool. I started with a full charge, I think that would've... that would've one-shotted him. But it, it might be a safer strategy if you use the Metal Blade. Right. Well, now you got the Leaf Shield, that's pretty up. handy. It is. The, uh, the shields are always subtly different in Mega Man games. So the Leaf Shield, you cannot walk while you're using it. And when you release really? it... Yeah. So you, 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 you hang out and you're safe, but you can throw it. Okay. okay. That seems rather disappointing, though. It, yeah, the, the shield weapons tend to do that. 
Now, Airman, this is going to be a stage I die a lot, because we're in the sky. Alright. So be prepared for, for that level of disappointment. Okay. Yeah, and you only have one, that one platforming thing so far, which uh, I can't see being much help here. Nope, not, not this stage. Of course they went to those little drill things coming out on the sides. Of course they did. I mean, oh, you just go walk by? It's not hard enough without them. Well, I mean, like, you know, Dr. Wily could have, you know, created a level that you couldn't beat by just not putting any of that stuff up here. <laughs> just skip all the platforms. Yeah. I mean, just like, okay, go fight this guy. And Mega Man's like, well, I can't reach anything. Oh, okay. I screwed up. Um, There's the first one. I thought I could queue up a jump while my energy meter was filling, and that was... That was a lie. Well, you know, the game can only do so many things at one time. <clears throat> yeah. So what are these little guys down there? They're, like, staring at you, got their hands out, like, help, I'm stuck in this platform. <laughs> I like to think of them as angry wind gods here to torment me. Okay. While we're riding on these uh, giant, angry, floating Octoroks. Yeah. Also wind gods. Nothing but wind gods. Well, naturally, I mean... What would make you think of a wind god more than an angry octopus? <laughs> they use their eight tentacles to soar through the skies, raining destruction upon mortal souls. We just can't see the, uh, the tentacles because it's behind them, right. spinning rapidly, make them exactly. fly. Exactly. I thought this was basic mythology, man. That's like a little so. Benny robot Zeus. <laughs> A little lightning cloud there. Oh, that whoa, was whoa! Wow, so. that okay. was uh, that pretty was, stressful watching that. That was stressful for me as well. And yes, and who is another wind god? Zeus. More of a weather god, but I mean, it, it works. It's, uh, it's 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 among his domains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's a little guy stuck in the platform. Nice of that bird to drop off a little egg for you. Yeah. If it lays to the ground, though, it'll like... Oh, he, yeah. was, he was a stealth drum that time. It's Pretty almost... disturbing that uh, he drops his eggs that are full of his babies. <laughs> and, like, he puts, As like, weapon. ten babies in one egg. Are those worms? Maybe? They're probably wind gods. That's what I've been gathering. That does follow. I mean, we've been encountering so many other wind gods so far. Right. I mean, haven't you heard of the blue banana wind god? I mean, not often. He's from Brazil. Okay. Um, prior to Spanish occupation. And yeah, he, he has this blue banana that he uses to generate wind and feed his people. Depending on his mood. Right. So what does he do if his banana's not blue? Or his banana's not blue. Well, well yeah, I mean, like, the if I get any banana, models. it's like it stays the same color it's supposed to for, like, maybe one day. Oh, his banana is eternal. Oh, okay. So it never gets ripe, then? No, well, it, it, it's always ripe. That's the only state it's ever in. It was, it was given to him by the great tree of creation, which was, of course, a banana tree. Right. Which, which spawned a singular blue, eternally ripe banana that conjures wind. So you have a tree that spent its entire life creating one banana that can't even get to the point where it can grow into another banana tree. Well, gods don't reproduce it. They can avoid it. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, but the, it's not a god that's the tree. It's just a tree that just happens to be eternal. I, I fail to understand why this is a problem for you. I mean, like, you know, you have a tree, like, any species, its entire point is to develop to the point where it can reproduce. And this is a tree that can't reproduce, because all it did was create a blue banana. Well, I mean, it, it, it reproduces by establishing itself in the legends of the human mind. I mean, is it better to empower a god or to have a child? Um, is that a trick question? <laughs> I can't even tell anymore. <laughs> Alright, so there's Windman. Wow, he is just as pathetic as he is in the rap song. Yep. He's hard to dodge, but uh, other than that. 
And you can see he didn't have his blue banana with him. Not at all. He's been much more fierce with it. All right, so we got the air shooter now. Message from Dr. Lights. Oh, look at him. Calling again. Item two. Item two. Completed. Get your weapons ready. This looks a lot like Santa Claus in the lab coat. He does. And he has like a huge, butchy beard. This looks so friendly. Like, I would love it if he was my inventor dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he just looks like a nice dude. Okay, well, this okay. one was a little bit quick, but I think it's a good place to uh, <coughs> stop again and pick it up again okay. tomorrow. You know, two bosses down without too much trouble. All right. We'll catch up. All right, next, next time. time we'll be facing some more frustration. And See you then. Uh, good night.